Well, to live well, you have to eat well. We're bringing you the HEB Kitchen to you this morning. Just in time for Easter. Yeah, this HEB kitchen smells fantastic. <laughs> we got Stephen Gonzalez joining us today to give us some dinner ideas. I'm not sure I can pull off anything like this, but shoot, I will try. Well, I made sure to make to give you all lots of recipe lots cards of to make Excellent. sure that right, we can do chef. it all. Awesome. Where are we starting this morning? So, as you know, Easter's right around the corner, so mm -hmm. we figured that we would make some of our favorite Easter dishes, Perfect. keep them simple but delicious. Mm. Great. So, at the new HEB, they're off the loop 250. Um, I'm part of the Cooking Connection, so if you're unfamiliar with that, we're kind of like your five-minute cooking classes. Perfect. Excellent. So to start with, we've got our pineapple coconut shrimp cocktail. Mm. We decided to get some red Argentinian shrimp, some nice fresh produce, some pineapple, some jicama, some tomatoes, bell peppers, and we're using one of our Robert's Reserve sauces, our pineapple coconut mango tequila sauces, mm. one of our many promotions that we have going on at the store. Cool. We've got our Mimi and Provence rosé to hey, kind yeah. of complement everything because, you know, what's food without wine? Am I right? That's right. No, it's, it's not food. <laughs> <laughs> so moving on to our main course, I decided to do some leg of lamb because for me, Easter and lamb kind of go hand in hand. Mm. So we did one of our Vela Farms mint jellies along with some yes. bacon jam roasted potatoes and asparagus. Now, if you haven't had the bacon jam, it tastes as good as it sounds. Cool. It's magic. So, bacon of course, jam. Wow. To go, to complement the gaminess of the lamb, the mm. vegetables, we got our 19 crimes uh, red wine. It's Excellent. an Australian red wine and it goes great with any kind of uh, lamb, beef, salmon. Very, very delicious. delicious. Now, looks good. Of course, for dessert, a lot of people like to do sweet. I kind of went did something different mm -hmm. by doing something savory and sweet. Oh, perfect. So we did a baked brie Ooh. in some puff pastry. Oh. We got some of our hatch chili and jalapeno jam. Yes, please. And, exactly. <laughs> oh, and you exactly. add a little bit of some candied pecans to give it that extra crunch. All making for a wonderful dinner or lunch experience for Easter. So how difficult is that puff pastry? Is it just stick the cheese in it? Put that on top and fold it over? Pretty much, and then just okay. put an egg wash on that's, it. That's what I was okay. about to say, is this looks so fancy. It looks above my cooking range, but after we hearing you explain it, I, I think I could pull it off. Well, if you look at our recipes, we have about five, maybe six ingredients per recipe, cool. so we keep it simple. Yeah, awesome. not bad at all. And then if you need some tips, come and find y'all at HEB and your cooking connection, and, yes. and, and you always answer my questions. Yeah. So, awesome. Well, chefs, we appreciate you being with us this morning. This smells amazing. Incredible. looks beautiful. <laughs> Impress your friends, and in the meantime, you can stay inside cooking today because there's still a little chance of rain. There's a little bit of chance of